Kiora, as easy as this. Welcome to Living Life as Easy As with Happiness. Well, welcome. Welcome to my secret spot here in Taranaki. I absolutely love this spot. It's just a phenomenal place to be. Let me share it with you. I'm up here in this great place, which gives you a 360, 360 degree outlook on the beautiful, phenomenal New Plymouth coastline. Oh, and look at that. Here's our gorgeous mountain. A little hidden today behind some clouds. The other side of those trees, you get the rest of the 360, and there we go. Look at that. <gasps> Isn't she beautiful? I absolutely love it up here. So welcome to my secret spot. I just love it. So why do I love coming up here? It's just a fantastic place to come and reflect and to rest, to relax, to, um, I love to write, I'm writing a book, I love to come up here and just write a few pages, I love to read up here, and it doesn't matter what the weather conditions, it can be pouring down with rain, thunderstorms, freezing cold, windy, I still get that same buzz from coming up here, or I still love reading or writing or just reflecting um, up in this location, so that's why I absolutely love this spot. And I think everybody should have a go-to spot like I have. You need to have a fantastic spot where you can go to and just chillax. There's not a worry in the world up here. I can just completely relax. Oh my God, I absolutely love it. So go find yourself a, a beautiful spot like I have here in, in Taranaki. So today I'm just going to do a little bit of reflecting on um, some of the videos that I've brought to you. I have shared with you so much of my life and what's worked with me that I'm really, really hoping that some of it has been working for you guys. Um, so, you know, like I've given you so much stuff to go to work on that you should be, and if you're doing a lot of it, you could be living a phenomenal life, a phenomenal life right now. Um, so I hope that you guys have been enjoying the videos over the last few months and that you're getting some some um, enjoyment out of it or some wisdom or some help from my videos. Um, so because I just know that this has worked for me and I'm sure it can work for somebody out there. Um, you know, so if we look back, if you're taking those turmeric and ginger shots that I did way back in the beginning, I am still taking those on a daily basis. I absolutely love them. I know that they have rid my body of aches and pains, little tweaks I had here and there. Um, and I just, you know, I know some of you find it hard to swallow, but they really are so beneficial and they just give you that oomph for the day. To, you know, some people don't know where to start. Well, that's a good one to start with because it just gives you the, the oomph for the day. Um, I've shared with you my vision board. I just believe in them so much. Um, you know, like if you guys have started a vision board, things should be starting to happen for you now. I've taught you about pampering yourself, little ways to pamper yourself, to lift your spirit. I've taught you ways to connect with your children through, through adventure and fun that doesn't have to cost a lot of money. I've shared with you some tips to save money. Um, I've shared with you how I got rid of my headaches, so simple after after so much pain and chronic pain for years and years and years and I've taught the breathing exercises I absolutely love those breathing exercises there's just so much there the seaweed bars bring me so much joy um, I just want you guys to be trying this to have the joy the happiness you know I've been at the bottom of the pack and had absolute misery and felt like I wanted you know the world to end and it just no comparison there's no comparison to that to where I am now if you want to live a life of misery regret holding grudges revenge not letting go it's all holding you back you're not going to get anywhere I'm telling you you need to let go you need to get rid of all that stuff put it in a big bubble come to a place like this and just poof, let the bubble float away take all that shit away with it and then start living this phenomenal happy as easy as life that I know every single person is capable of. Um, so that is why I'm doing these videos. I really hope it's helping somebody. But if I just want to share with you one thing this week that um, you should start with, or probably two things, actually three things. 
three things that you should start with if you're finding it really hard to start. People just don't know where to start. And um, I am going to share with you one thing that this is where I started from, which was just amazing for me. And it was having my a list of intentions. And I'm going to read those to you very shortly. But I think another way to start would be um, to do those breathing exercises because they're so simple. They're as easy as there's no excuse. There's no excuse. Then there's no excuse for nobody to do them because they're so friggin' easy. You know, it's just a few minutes of breathing in and out, breathing in, holding, and releasing. So go back on that video and learn that technique, and that's where I would start with those breathing exercises. It gets the blood flowing, all that gorgeous oxygen flowing through your blood and your veins, and it just does wonders for you. It does wonders for your health and your well-being. So start with the breathing exercises, and then from there, um, I think the next thing that I would probably do would be to start reducing sugar because sugar is so toxic, it is poison for your body. Yes, there's room for a little bit of sugar, but you know, in moderation, but we're not having it in moderation because it's in everything we eat just about goddamn near. Okay, so start reducing sugar where you don't need it. And if you start reducing sugar, because everybody I've spoken to, everybody, that has reduced sugar from their lives feel better for it. They just feel better for it. So that would be a really great place to start, would be to reducing that sugar. And I've shared with you in a previous video of some little tips to help you start to reducing those sugars. So go back and have a look at that one if you want to start reducing sugar. But other than that, where do you start? I wrote a list of intentions and I wrote these all probably over four years ago, just sat down, tears rolling down my face, where do I start? Let's start with a list of intentions. These are intentions of what, what I wanted from my life. I'm just going to read those with you for a little minute. And um, so then you get the idea of what I mean by a list of intentions. So I have intentions to be a better mum, daughter, sister, friend, lover, partner, and a better friend to myself. Kick out that obnoxious flatmate in my head. I can do this. I have this awful obnoxious flatmate putting me down and yeah I got rid of that person oh my god way better I have intentions of enriching my children's lives and giving them values and the tools to be amazing caring phenomenal young adults I have intentions of providing my children with a safe and secure haven for them to always come home to I have intentions to always look after my health and my well-being so I am fit enough to enjoy living the moment of the now and also be healthy enough to have fun with my children, friends, my family and in life. I have intentions of being a true, authentic, caring, inspiring, loyal friend. I have intentions to improve my finances so I may have make better choices for my children and myself. Tick! I have intentions of changing other people's lives and being that to being easy and happy. I have intentions of being an author and writing an amazing book that will help some people change their lives for the better forever. And then finally, I have intentions to live in the moment, enjoy my life and enjoy it with those that I love around me. So those are my list of intentions and I think that's a really good place to start. I just scribbled these down and I, I let them flow. They just flowed from me. This is what I want from life. And you know, I've given a lot of these a massive big tick. Um, and they've been my Bible. I read them probably at least four times a week, I would say. Keeps me on track and makes me smile when I look at it and think, yeah, they have achieved that intention. I am living that intention. So that is a really good place to start. Write down a list of your intentions and uh, then start making it happen. Yay! Anyway, that's it for today because I'm about to go off and enjoy this amazing, free, wonderful nature around me and make the most of this gorgeous sun while it's still shining. But next week, I am so excited to share with you because I'm going to share with you the one other thing other than these breathing sugar and my intentions um, one other thing that has been a huge 
huge motivator for me um, for helping me turn my life around. So I'm going to share with you next week. So please subscribe if you don't want to miss that one because oh, I really love it. It's something that's changed myself and my, my children's lives and I know that it can change your lives as well. So yay, subscribe, share, like, all that sort of stuff. So the whole world, the more people that can hear it, the more people that can um, have an as easy as happier life. Anyway, much, much aruha to you all. I wish you a great, fantastic evening and much happiness as well. Bye everybody.